Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're continuing on with the dynamic weather script and we have a few different things to do in this lesson. So let's dive straight in. And the first thing we're going to deal with is audio clips. Now, as you know, when, once we come to attaching this script to a game object within the scene, we could normally come to the add component method and add an audio source here. But we can also do this in code, so the script automatically does it for us. So let's do that now. And I'm going to come below both of the using statements here. And I'm going to open brackets. Now please pay attention to the type of brackets I'm actually using here. So these are the box shape ones. And we're going to say require component and then we're going to open normal brackets and we're going to say type of and we're going to open brackets again and we want an audio source we'll close normal brackets twice and then we'll close the little square brackets so now when we attach this to a game object an audio source will automatically be applied as well now, let, with that finished, let's come down here. Now, one of the main jobs we've got to do is actually activate this finite state machine that we created to handle our weather states. And obviously, it is just a switch block. Now, we don't need to do one for this switch block because this one will automatically become active when this one does. So let's come into the void start and we can simply say start core routine. We can open brackets and we'll use weather FSM, the naming convention here, and then we can open and close brackets. We'll close brackets again and close the line off. Now, there are two ways of doing this. You could also put in the little speech marks, get rid of these brackets here, and put another speech mark in there. This will work also, but we're going to do it like this for the purposes of this script. Now, one last thing you may want to do. You may want to come to the top here, and if we press the forward slashes three times, it opens up a large commentary sector and we can also put in our name so J Church and the date we created the script so I created this on the 23rd of September 2015 and we can save this script off here and we'll leave it here for this lesson. It's not going to be a very long lesson. But um, if any of you have any requests for any additions to this script, please let me know in the comments below. And I will try and accommodate any requests you may have. And we'll leave it here for this video. I hope to see you next time. And until then, bye for now.